Like I said, each one of these are going to be individual sections. I am now on key point 20. We're getting to the meat and potatoes towards the end of the very end of the book, actually. And key point 20, everything is important here. The key point 20 is stay away from dream killers. And this section can easily be its own book, and it should be. However, I'll keep it simple. There are two types of people in this world, supportive and non-supportive. Is it this black and white? Not really. There are gray areas. But let's do this. There are really five types that exist. And way back in 2011, I broke them down into what I call dream categories. One is the dream defer. This person does not really want to accomplish anything. They may have an idea and they would like to be successful, but they just can't seem to present anything tangible to help you or them. They always have something to say, but at the root of it all, they only want to slow you down and prevent you from moving forward. They may not realize they are acting in this way, but you can see them very clearly. This is the person who always has a reason for not following through and is consistently attempting to tell you why you should take your time and not focus only on your goals. They think focus and intensity is obsession and selfishness. It's the dream defer. The second person is the dream stillers. Not the Pittsburgh stillers. The dream stillers. Think about it like this. You took the time to come up with an idea and you were cool enough to share it. The dream stiller will take your idea and attempt to do it before you. They don't care if what they are doing is poorly executed and they aren't even passionate about the idea. This person just wants to do whatever it is before you so they can say they did it first. The dream stiller will take the time and effort to attend every meeting and will listen intently to what is being said because they need to know everything. They lack creativity and simply want the chance to shine without actually putting in the work. If they can prevent you from succeeding while still pretending to be on your side, they will. This person is fully aware of what they are doing and you should be aware as well. But you have to open your eyes. Number three, the shaky dreamer. Like Chappelle. Some people want to help. They sincerely do. They want to give you money. They want to assist and they will. But they are also worried about the outcome. And they're so worried that they never truly invest themselves in the project 100 percent. This person may actually be you. If you continuously find reasons not to initiate a project, you are the shaky dreamer. Sometimes it's understandable to be nervous. You might not have enough money or you might not have done enough research. These things are tactical and not actually shaky. However, when the only obstacle stopping you is fear or the knowledge that the job could become more difficult and you stop, you, you're the shaky dreamer. Number four is the dream killer. And I mentioned this one earlier, but I hadn't given a definition. The dream killer it's the worst person you can meet. I've had a lot of dream killers around me. The problem is this person is often the person closest to you. 
And here's the tragic part. The dream killer can be a spouse, a parent, or a best friend. And this is how they'll often begin a sentence and they'll use these words. Well, I don't know. Or they may start their sentence with this after you bring up an idea. Man, you better get a real job. They'll also tell you this one. Man, that's hard. Man, you make good money already. Just focus on your career and you can get paid. Now, the worst one is this. Hey, don't you think you're spending too much time on that? You know what? There's a lot of them. Let's keep going. Um, here's some good ones. That's stupid as hell. Ain't nobody going to buy that. Or finally, right? Probably not even finally. Um, this is the one that will crush your soul because it's coming from somebody that you love. That's not going to work. And you can't do that. Dream killers are all around and they are in every, every place you go. They're at church. If you don't tithe, you won't get your blessing. They're at the gym. One lap is good enough for today. They're at the grocery store. Why are you buying all that dough? <laughs> you thinking about starting a bakery? The dream killer can be subtle. Baby, uh, I was thinking we shouldn't really try that. It might put us in a bad spot. Nibbles the ear, turns off the light. The dream killer can be overt and in your face. In whatever shape or style the dream killer shows up, you have to recognize the cues and deal with them accordingly. The fifth, the dream builder. I'm a dream builder. I hear about things and I get inspired and I get excited. I began trying to come up with ideas about how to do it. I believe that if you want to try it, you should. If you're a freshman in college and you want to move to New York and become an actress on Broadway, I'm going to say research it, visit, and then plan your path. I'm the person that will tell you to forget about a scholarship and a college and pursue the thing that you love the most. I'll tell you that. You have your whole life to go back to school. I'm the person that says, I really think someone will buy an attachment that allows your cell phone to connect to a projector. Now, back then, that would have been revolutionary. We now know your phone is actually the projector. You can just stream it to a TV. But that idea back then, if somebody would have been like, hey, I think I got this, I would have told them, man, do that. I think any idea is worth pursuing if it can be researched and it makes sense. If you can find one dream builder, if you can find one, one person, one dream builder, Keep them around you. Keep them close. They are vital to your progress, especially when things get hard. Now, I do have a caveat here. The dream builder can sometimes seem like a shaky dreamer. And this isn't a bad thing. When you're building a network of people, you need a person who takes their time to think about the situation. You also need a person who comes up with ideas and moves on to kind of keep things fresh. Uh, the dream builder can be on either end of the spectrum. And that person is often, often, you know, kind of a polarizing figure. And that pun is intended. This person, though... They'll always have something to contribute either through positive reinforcement or through negative reinforcement. And in certain situations, you're going to need both. But that dream builder 
you need that person and you need to hold on to them. 